Hello YouTubers. Hey, you're listening to Mike. I'm with SilverCoinReserve.com. Um, we actually sell silver, but uh, that's not what we're going to talk about today. Um, what I want to talk to you about is this uh, Comet LNN, which um, I'm going to show you is not a comet and cannot be a comet, and there's absolutely no way that uh, anybody can tell me that this is a comet at this point. Uh, and I'll show you why. This is uh, March 15th. It's actually the day that I'm producing this particular video. And what we're going to do, this, this particular thing that you're looking at is a model that comes from the uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory of NASA. Okay, that, that's fairly credible. Um, and I don't think these guys could lie to us uh, without having a real major problem. Now, you'll notice that it, it says Elenin. It doesn't say Comet Elenin. It does have a C over there. Um, but, hey, let's find out if this really is. I'm going to take and spin this this little model back around to where we have the alignment. There's been a lot of talk about this alignment creating a pole shift on the Earth, and it's not going to happen. It's not close enough to us to have that happen yet. But take a look at this alignment. We're now at 2.101, that's what it says right here, uh, AU from the Earth, our little, uh, we're going to call it a dwarf star because this thing is a dwarf star. And at that point, we've put a lot of stress on the Earth because it's in between these two places. Uh, it's no wonder that we had an earthquake just uh, three or four days ago in Japan that uh, registered a nine-pointer. Now, I'm going to bring this back around so we can see it a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to back this up. I want to show you something that's happened in the past. As we start backing this video up, we're going to go clear back. And the date we're going to go to is uh, in September. We're going to stop. I went a little far. We're going to go to September 4th. Now, I'm going to pull this around again. First, we want to shrink it down so you can see it. And then we're going to bring this back around, and we're going to line this back up. Okay. Now, take a look at this. Whoa. Come on, Mike. You can do it. Um, take, take a look at how this lines up right there. There's our little Earth. There's the Sun. And there is our uh, dwarf star. And we are on the far side of the sun on this one. So we're getting this dwarf star pulling on us and uh, the sun pulling on us. And we also have, look, we've got little old Mercury down in there. And uh, Venus is over here. Everything's kind of jammed together right there when this happens. Does the uh, date September 4th mean anything to anybody? I'll bet if you lived in Christchurch, uh, New Zealand, you wouldn't forget that date. This is when they had their first quake, 7.2. Serious, serious stuff. Okay, uh, if that was a comet, do you think it would pull on our Earth hard enough to uh, create a 7.2 earthquake in this alignment? Nah, I doubt it. Okay, we're going to back up some more because this just gets even more interesting. As we uh, as we go backwards, we're going to take us back to, and I'm going to spin it out here so we can see it again. We're going to take us back to the date uh, in February, and um, whoop almost too far. Let's see if we can bring it to February the 27th. Now, you'll notice that we bring this back around right here and whammo! On the 27th of February, if I can get this over here and whoop, make it go the right direction, there it is. You line up the, the comet or round or star and you line up the Earth and you line up the Sun. And so we're having a real strong pull. But notice that it's still, it's out here 6 AU from the uh, Earth. That's quite a ways out. That's six times the distance we are from the Sun. Does the uh, date February 27th mean anything to anybody? It would, it would if you lived in Chile. It would mean a big deal for you if you lived in Chile. 8.8 .8 earthquake. All right, now we're going to take this the other direction now. We're going to go into the future, and we're going to show you what's going to happen and where this is going to be, and this gets pretty darn scary because what's going to take place in the future is going to be really, really nasty. Um, we're going to take it in till it gets to, uh, oh, I think we'll go to about uh, September 26th of this year. Um, September happens to be the first time that we align again, but this time the comet happens to be on the inside of us. It's not uh, out there beyond us, it's it's actually closer. And I'm going to take it in here a little slower. 
There we go. We're about the 27th or 26th. I'll take it back to the 26th, and we'll see what that alignment looks like. If we spin this up a little bit so we can see it, and we're going to blow it up a little bit so it's bigger now that there's our comet out there. Okay. Take a look at where that alignment is. Let's see. We can make that so that the letters aren't there. Okay, you've got the sun here. Mercury on the other side of the Sun in an alignment. You've got the comet. Uh, why are we calling this a comet? You've got the brown dwarf star in here inside of uh, Venus's uh, orbit. And then you've got the Earth. And we're all lined up again. Um, and, it, and that may be actually on the 27th. Let's take a look. See, 27th might be a little bit closer to that right date. Anyway, um, there'll be some st strong pulling on the Earth because look at how far this is away from us. 0 0.381. That's very, very close. Um, you know, it, it, that's, that's a real close distance. Now, what's our next, what's our next danger date? Uh, let's go forward. Now, watch how those are coming together. Can you see how the Earth and this comet are actually coming together? And if I call that a comet one more time, I'll kick myself. Okay, they're coming closer and closer. Now look at the date, the uh, numbers right here. We're actually at 243, 2433. There it is. That's the closest that we get. 232, 0.232. Very, very close. It happens on October the 17th. Look where it is. It's almost into our orbit line. That's a real, real close uh, transition. I honestly believe that sometime between. Uh, that last alignment that we had on the 27th of September and this particular close call, uh, this brown dwarf star is going to grab us and it's going to flip our planet. Um, how serious that'll be, I do not know. But it's close enough that we're going to have some real, real serious stuff. If it's having these kind of problems already when it was way out here, what are we going to do when it's right here? This is serious stuff. This is this is all these biblical uh, things coming together at one time. Now, after that alignment, we have one more uh, here that I want to show you real quick. Right about here, you'll notice that the Earth now goes into, crosses the path uh, of the brown dwarf star. As it went out, it probably left a lot of debris in the way. And we're going to start running into that debris right there on that one little spot because it's going to be uh, hitting us big time, really big time. Um, notice also that as we come around this way, the, uh, the brown dwarf star is not very far away from it. It's still 3.848. The date here is November the 5th, so watch for that date. Okay, let's go a little bit further. As we come around, we're going to get to the uh, latter part of November. Now let's, let's bring our slider bar here a little bit this way so we can actually see another alignment coming. Oh, look at that. November 23rd, another alignment date. This time, uh, this is basically the same thing that happened um, with the earthquake in Chile and the same thing that happened uh, in the earthquakes in Japan. Only this time, instead of being out there 6 AU, it's only out there about 0. 0.6 AU. Uh, serious, serious problem, a real serious problem. Um, fortunately, uh, until about next year when we're clear over here, this is the last time we're going to have a problem with this. But by this time, uh, it'll just be clean up. You know, it'll, it really will just be clean up. Anyway, any of you can uh, take a look at this particular video. Um, it's pulled from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Um, it's, everybody has access to it. It's not like this is some top secret thing. But they are not telling us a lot of things about this particular uh, event, and I can see why. Because what's going to happen here is if you announce this, um, people are going to change their buying habits uh, drastically. Um, but we need to get the word out. We need to let people know that this is what's going on. Hey, by the way, if you need silver, we're the ones to come look at. We can sell it to you every month, $50 a month and uh, you get an ounce and uh, if you sign anybody else up to buy uh, you get paid off of that every month 
Anyway, I just wanted to show this. I hope people will take a look at it. We're in serious, serious uh, trouble here. My best recommendation is go develop a personal relationship with God because you're going to need it as this thing comes around. Thank you, YouTubers. We'll be uh, giving you more information in the future as this comes around and gets a little closer. But uh, God bless you, and uh, may we all hang on as this thing takes place.